Всем привет и здравствуйте, из Новой Зеландии. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I hope all of you guys across the world are looking after yourselves and looking out for each other. Thank you so much for tuning into my videos, watching my journey and learning about my life. I appreciate it so much. Now before I get into this video, I just really want to let you guys know that here in Auckland, New Zealand, we are now back in our lockdown status and we are now at alert level 3. We've gone back to alert level 3. So we were off lockdown for a while and everything seemed like it was going back to normal but we have since had some more cases arise here in Auckland, New Zealand. So it's just Auckland at the moment that has gone back into a lockdown status for the next 12 days. So yes, I'm at home again. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right. I've got my new setup here. I've got my new like studio setup. So I'm gonna be sharing more videos with you guys and keeping you guys all updated all across the world. And I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. And if you've not yet clicked subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. I always appreciate it. Спасибо большое. I almost every time I say спасибо большое, I'm like, oh man, I gotta finish the video, don't I? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's, I, sometimes I get sidetracked and I, and I really apologize. I was about to say, and I appreciate that, but no, I really apologize about that. So what I've got here is a Russian English dictionary. Now this is one of the first gifts that was given to me by my birth family in Russia. And it is pretty awesome. It's really old, but it is incredible. Take a look at this. So this is it here. It is so cool. Now I don't carry this around me with me everywhere, obviously. Um, that would be strange. I like to keep this more as a collectible and as a special gift to me. So I always have it with me. Um, not obviously when I'm walking around or leaving the house, but I always have it in my bedroom. And I always look at a few words, you know, here and there. And it is really quite interesting. It, it was made in 1982. Um, and it's got exactly 34,000 words, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you guys this. So there's a bit of history here. Obviously when Russia was part of the Soviet Union. So um, it's great to learn about the history. It's all part of the history as well. And I always find it very fascinating. Now what this video really is about is about what I've been doing in the last few weeks. Now I've been down in the South Island. Um, I've been checking out some of the animals down there, doing some work, doing some filming, which has been pretty cool. Also getting a little bit lost. We are here in the West Coast, absolutely lost. I'm glad I'm finally here. Don't get so close. I did a quick video when I was there, but you know, it's been pretty full on. So a few weeks ago, I was actually out for the weekend. I actually went up further north. So last week I was down south, right in the South Island. And then the week before that, I was actually up north. So I went along with my Russian language exchange group, which was pretty cool. That was really awesome. Uh, the Lena, who's been in some of the videos of mine for cooking and a few of our other friends. Now, it was only two of us that were not fluent in Russian and the rest of everybody else, they were fluent. So that was pretty cool, that was pretty fun. It was really quite difficult to really, it can be difficult to keep up with the Russian language with Russian friends, but it, to me, it's always important to connect as much as I can. And I also got to make some shazhlik. Sometimes it's good to also put like onions. So if you can find a ring that is whole, like you know that you can put over the thing, right? Put it over. Okay. And how much of this are we gonna make? Or everything. You gotta, you gotta have to exercise for a week. <laughs> yeah, guys. Woo. <laughs> so it was cool. It was awesome, and um, I guess. I really want to also point out, if you had a dollar for every time I said cool and awesome, you know, you'd be quite rich. <laughs> so, but it was such a cool trip and um, it just went for the weekend and then after that I went down to the South Island and did work for the week. So it's been pretty cool, it's been pretty great. And connecting with my friends and connecting in the culture, learning new words and just being around that Russian culture is quite incredible. I also got to experience a Russian sauna, which was, yeah, that was that was interesting. I, can't, I couldn't stay in there for too long. But um, to me, that's I would like to do that also in Russia. I haven't done that in Russia yet, but I would like to do that. I know it's, it's funny, it's silly that I have not done that in Russia, even though I've been to Russia mostly in the winter times and only once in the summertime. I always talk to myself and wonder, ask myself, not talk to myself, I ask myself, why not in the winter time when you've been there, have you not gone into a Russian sauna? I don't know. It's just, it just hasn't really crossed my mind. Maybe if I visit Siberia in the winter time, I'll do that. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Mujia, mujia. So yeah, it's been good. It's been great. And uh, you know, just connecting more. And I, yeah, you know, going up north is pretty incredible. The people at this macadamia farm. It was a macadamia farm. They were the people that owned it. They were Russian. And I remember speaking to this woman there, and she said to me, "What accent?" 
you don't have an accent. What accent is that when I was speaking Russian? And this is the little pieces I was speaking Russian with. And I just said, it's, I'm still learning Russian. You know, I said, Storosvete, like that, Storosvete. She was very confused. She was trying to wonder what, what, you know, what accent was my Russian from. And I said, I don't speak Russian fluently. I'm still learning. And she found it quite inter interesting. She spoke to me in Russian first. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. Yanagovodoporovsky, at least. So I said that. And she said, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. And then she spoke to me in English. But it was such an incredible time for me. And I always say, if you're an adoptee from Russia, you know, connecting with the culture like that, is quite spectacular and quite special and to me i found it very incredible to be able to connect more uh not just with the food not just with the russian sauna but the culture itself so i found that really cool and really fascinating and no, and by the way if you want if you wanted to know i did not take this dictionary with me i did not have it with me i used google translate for some words that i was trying to learn along the way with my friends i was trying to put sentences together and put things together like that but what i do have actually um is just why just why i'm um, in the conversation with you guys is yes i do have russian kids books so i do have a look at that and um, i do find that quite fascinating as well because i can go through it i can go through some of the words um and it does help and i know that a lot of you are wondering man when are you going to be fluent when are you going to be fluent in the language and as i say all the time it takes a lot of time to, to become a fluent person, I really need to be immersed around the language a lot and just get myself into the language more. So it's, it is, it is a big goal of mine. It is a huge goal of mine. And this is, I guess, an update with what's been going on, obviously, in my life and what I've been doing, but also with how much I really want to learn. And as you guys know, I really, 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 really want to learn. Orchin. Orchin. <laughs> so it's just me just connecting with more of that. And to me, it means a lot. And that's why I also have the I'm Adopted community. I am so proud to have founded such an incredible community for adoptees around the world, helping helping adoptees connect. And I was, what was I? I was almost losing my track. It's awesome to have such an incredible community for adoptees around the world with I'm Adopted. Reaching out for advice, reaching out to each other and just supporting each other. And I believe it's an incredible thing and it helps connect so many people. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I know that right now in the world, it's quite difficult and everyone is going through a difficult time. Here right now we have a lockdown for another 12 days. We've gone back into lockdown. I remember back in April when I was making the videos of our first lockdown here in New Zealand and I just thought, wow, this is crazy what's going on. But we've all started to get used to this new norm. It's not a new norm, but it's a new part of the world, part of life and part of this year with life. And it is very, um, it is stressful. It's causing people a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. And I just hope that all of you guys are keeping yourself safe and looking out for yourselves, especially, and looking out for each other. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. And honestly, I know that, that we've got a long road ahead. And I know that it's going to be a difficult next few months. But let's just keep our heads up, smile. And I appreciate you guys watching my video so much. I hope that is keeping you guys entertained every little parts that I'm doing because I really love sharing my journey with you guys, sharing my story and just, you know, sharing my life. So thank you so much. And until next time, das Danya is Nova Zelandi. Es possible bashoye ipaka. Ipaka paka. Now I'm going to have a look at this and have a read and um, have a good weekend and look after yourselves. Spasiba bashoye.